Yeah, I was surprised both commentators uh, bolted for some reason, but I'm here. Travis is here, and we got Losers Quarters. No, that was no Losers Quarters played. Uh, we got Redeemer and G W J. So yeah, makes sense. Yeah, Luma sucks. But <laughs> Ew. Hate Luma. That's my first loss to him in in, in bracket. Luma sucks. Either way, looks like we got Loses Court is going up. Uh, so Mario Rosa, I think Rosa, Rosa's good. But we'll see what what's. Oh no, he's one Rob. Never mind. I mean, GWJ of course have Rob man at heart. Usually he, uh, usually GWJ uh, comes out on top with Rob. And Redeemer of course knows Rob because he actually plays Rob a lot. This is a secondary. Yeah, flood, flood my I need stage control button. So, gonna start off with that. Just trying to get some sort of gyro off. I got the bag, Mike. Alright, got some got some gyro setups going on. Just trying to wall him out with Nair and Fair. Because that's the name of the game, but Mario, you gotta wall him out. Don't let him get close to you, press his, his uh. Press his good buttons. Nice, up tilt off air. That's good. Yeah, you gotta be able to mix up your landing against Rob, otherwise, it's a free uh, up tilt to up air conversion. And up air is actually heavily disjointed, so he can actually get. He can punish a lot of landing attempts with that. Up tilt spread and butter. Alright, good nair. F tilt. You rarely see Ro uh, Rob's F tilt, but I guess it covers the option. Alright, good down tilt there. Alright, cross ups with the up air. Ooh, the cape reflecting back. Alright, gets the back throw. F okay, alright, we can get the flood kill. Let's go, win box kills. Alright, gets the up tilt. Wind boxes, yo. Wind boxes that are actually water. Let's go, Sakurai. Alright, gets down throw. Up air and bad DI on Redeemer's end. How you have to DI that is you have to DI in one direction and then um, and then immediately switch to the other one. Yo. You already asked me. No, I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's in your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Gets the down air. Sorry about that. We had some minor interference. Alright, down throw, up air. Alright, this is good. Now what's nice about Rob is that he has a lot of disjointed hitboxes with his fire, so... Basically, since Redeemer has to approach here, he's able to just intercept him with hitboxes. Alright, gets the down throw, gets the up air. Alright, another gyro hit. Gyro setup? Ooh, but really good response for Redeemer, seeing that he was going up, uh, able to intercept him with a down air. Alright, shields the laser. Laser's hella telegraphed, so like if you don't if you don't shield that, you're you might be bad. Or you're locked in head stun. Cool. Alright, capes the gyro again. Redeemer very cognizant that cape is vital in this matchup because it's a big key to how Rob lost people out. But he can still use his disjoints, but GWJ with a percent lead, not content to approach anytime soon. Gets the down tilt. Redeemer with the Redeemer special. Mario back air. Ooh, nice pivot grab. Yeah, he didn't air dodge, he just took no action. And again with the bad DI actually. No, you have to, when you're in Rob's up air, you have to DI either left or right, pick a direction, then switch it for the last hit. Rob's up air is just kind of weird like that. But no, both times, uh, it looked like he either just committed to the same direction or just like didn't DI at all. Which is more likely he just uh, messed up, because that is ad admittedly a tricky move to DI. Regardless though, good stuff on Redeemer. So we'll see if we see the Rosa counter pick, because his Rosa's doing really good today. Or his Luma's doing really good today. Interpret that however you will, that's fine. Alright, so running it back to Smashville. Often to stick with Rob. The ugliest Rob. I'm sorry, yellow Rob's not a good one, but after down tilts. Ooh. Yeah, Redeemer is just facing the other way, so he ends up not crossing up with Nair. Gets up tilts. Officer up smash, but, uh, you know, just didn't rob enough drift to get out of that. Even with an air dash. Alright, like the gyro pressure from the Z drop. Alright, hits him. It's easy that Redeemer lands on stage, so just opting to hit him with whatever he's got. It's a gyro. Item toss is always great frame data. Alright, Redeemer avoiding the gyro there, but not avoiding up air. Okay. Another up air. Oh, that's. Yeah. Nah, he wasn't in any position to punish. 
Uh, I guess. I'm actually not sure if Rob's up till pokes to the Smash Bros. platform, but I would assume um, DWJ knows this character more than I do, so. Alright, air dodge is due at that time. There's a 50 50, which means it doesn't always work. <laughs> Alright, gets down tilt. Okay, oh yeah, Redeem rolls in, but then covers himself with jab. Alright, weird hitbox sending him the wrong way. Gets a forward throw. Ooh, the good up smash. Whenever you jump in on a Mario Brother at kill percent, just expect that up smash to come out. So Redeemer looks like he's about ready to take this. Unless he keeps VIing up air wrong. Only 16% on GWJ. That gets an air. Alright, gets up tilt, up air. Again. Nice get the down tilt. Ooh, I like that. Um, using the gyro to uh, punish the trip roll. Which basically the same as a tech roll, but I don't know if it's called something different. Nair. Down throw up air. Forward air? No, it goes for an air. Zenny usually goes for an air first, so we're good. Yeah, covering the long lasting hitboxes of down air. Just got gyro online. Yeah, gyro is spinning. This gives him instant stage control. Actually, yeah, both these characters have down Vs that give him instant stage control. That's actually, I like what he's doing there. He's using the Nair to land on the gyro because he knows that uh, that location on the ground is covered by gyro. So it's basically a safe point to land. With Nair being relatively safe to land with as is. Oh, bad air dodge to the ground gets up smash for it. That being said, Rob just building up rage. <laughs> the back air, not gonna do it, but basically max rage on Rob now, so Beep Boop will probably kill. Yeah, don't, Redeemer is smart if he doesn't mess with him on this platform. Just poke safely from below. Yeah, Redeemer wants the back throw, because that will kill from the ledge. GWJ smart trying to go to him to approach so he can get that grab. Oh, just, ah, okay. Get the soft spike, though. Applying back air pressure. Back throw. Should kill. Nah, Rob's very heavy. Alright, gets the up B, but he'll make it back, he's Rob. Oh, back throw. Yep. Un it's not quite a Ness, but outplayed regardless. It grabbed on the ledge. Mario back throw. End of story. So Redeemer will move on to loser semis. Guaranteeing him fourth place at the lowest. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get the other losers quarters set going. I'm also pretty sure Dubs is actually going on. Long, a lot of long sets and dubs today. Alright, going to Lilac Cruise. Oh, is this a best of five? Or did I mess up the stuff? I don't know. I look bad regardless. But we got going to Lilac. Oh yeah, that's right. Redeemer didn't DI up there. Right? Of course, this game three. For some reason, I thought he won. Backwards. Solo commentary. Sometimes you, sometimes you make mistakes. But Lilac, regardless, um, interesting counter pick, admittedly. Because, like, I, I'd imagine that the tilting... Um, affects the gyro placement. I'm not sure, I mean, granted, I assume that all the good Rob mains have, like, labbed out um, different ways that the tilt can affect gyro movement. But that's just something that I would not know how to do with um, from the reverse side. But again, Redeemer plays Rob, so he probably knows these setups. Nice gyro play going on. Always catching it on the rebound. Alright, Rob's jab, just trying to interrupt Mario jab. Ooh, the roll, gets away with the roll on stage, actually. Beep boop, good, oh wow. Still enough to kill. I wonder if the Lilac Blast Zone tilt affected that, because, like, I didn't think that would kill, actually, at that percent if he had good DI. And that looked like good DI. But hey, man. <laughs> Beep Boop's ridiculous, man. Rob is a f Rob has flaws as a character, but Beep Boop is a ridiculously good uh, kill confirm. But I've seen Redeemer clutch out games on Lilac from behind before, so... Let's see what he's got. Alright. for another Nair. Ooh, okay, I like that. The down smash to punish the air dodge. Obviously, forward air was not going to reach with that. He gets a back throw? No rage on it, though. Yeah, after the smash. So, Redeemer's in fish for kill mode. 
just from how he's throwing an up smash. And granted, it's kind of safe, so like, why not? If anything, it scares Rob with, with how he wants to approach. That's for down tilt. You gotta think that GWJ just wants to get as much percent as possible. All right, Max Rage. If Lilac tilts in a weird way on a platform, these people could kill stupid early. I've seen it kill as early as 40 on Town and City from platforms. But, you know, building up the percent, Max Rage. Yeah, honestly, it could kill now. All right, good cape, though. But, yeah, Max Rage on Rob. 86. Not sure if it'll connect, honestly, at this point. But, we're go but now an up smash will probably do it. And Rob has a very fast up smash. Oh, but I'm sorry, up tilt. I don't know if that was a missed input, because I'm certain I would have. I would have up smashed, honestly. So that might have been a missed input. Back throw should kill with that. Yeah, that was fresh. A lot of rage on him. Yeah, GWJ just looking to punish a landing. Now, that was smart by Redeemer because it gives him immediate stage position with that flood. Ooh, gets the nice pivot grab. But he does air dodge. Again, it's a 50-50 at this point. He has to guess whether or not he's going to air dodge. Try not to mess with top. And it's really smart to keep top out. Because Redeemer has to approach, and the more difficult you make to approach, the more likely you're going to force some sort of mistake. Alright, air dodge through Nair. Limits his Zenyu combo. <laughs> Alright, gets the gyro. Another gyro. <laughs> Opting for the ally there, the walk up uh, F smash. And why not? It's pretty safe if you space it, right? Yeah, GWJ possibly can set the time amount, although I don't think that will happen. Just given the size of the stage and everything. Back airs. And again, this is the percent that I've seen Redeemer get like down throw fair at that can still kill. He's not out of this at all. Mario's very much a high clutch factor character. Not sure what he was doing there. Okay, Gyro gets him off stage. Ooh, Redeemer catches it with down a really good play. Takes a gyro out of the equation. Gets some free damage on GWJ. Honestly, Max, oh wow, back air? Wow, back air, Rob's back air is actually not that strong. He's like, 177 didn't kill, up throw. Will do it. The Tombstone Pile Driver. And GWJ, AKA Hentai Lover, will advance on to Loser's Semis. The two players that defeated me tonight. And, G and uh, Hentai Lover advances. Man, that is weird to say. Rob doing his little victory dance. Looks like I'm going to get the other loser's quarters, which is Delhi versus Thunderstorm, apparently.